I can't tell you how many times I tried to do this before and it didn't work, but now if you put your cursor inside one of these fields that accepts a value and use the arrow key on your keyboard, you can change the value up and down using your up and down arrows. I'm sure you felt the frustration when you go to change a core paragraph block into a headline block and it automatically makes it an H2. Well here in this new release, when you change it to a headline, it keeps the paragraph tag. I created this grid with a bunch of containers inside of it, but out of old habits, I forgot to give all these containers a class. But if I hold shift and select all of these, I can add a class to them all at one time and it will bulk add that class to each one of these blocks. You can do the same thing in reverse by selecting all of them and removing a class off of multiple blocks at once. The new backgrounds panel gives us the ability to stack multiple backgrounds right here inside the same dialog box. So I can add an image, I can go in here and stack another background. This time, let's pick a gradient from our palette and we can change the blend mode here so we can see our image through our gradient. Generate Blocks now uses the core pattern. So if I grab this section here and say create pattern, I'm gonna call this test. I'm gonna turn off synced and hit create. Now, when I open the pattern library, I can use the settings to turn on my local patterns. And now I can see any patterns that I created specifically for this site with a live preview. 